Liz Gorman is a woman who is walking around DuPont Circle in D.C., and she says that she was sexually assaulted as she was uh, walking to, uh, you know, walking around the streets. She says that someone was riding a bike and uh, came up behind her and grabbed her. According to a blog that she wrote, it was quick, he didn't fall off, he didn't hesitate, didn't turn around, didn't look at my face, he was laughing the whole time, and it just added a whole different element. And she was wearing a skirt at the time and she felt very violated because he put his hand up her skirt. It's interesting because she, this happens often to a lot of women, especially when they're out in public, if they're, you know, wearing a skirt or a dress. You know, sometimes it's just cat calls, it's just whistles, and other times they'll be sexually assaulted. And a lot of times these women don't report it to the authorities because what are the authorities going to do? You didn't even get a chance to look at this guy's face as he rode off. Now, when I was reading her story, it was really interesting to me because I went through something very, very similar, but I didn't tell the authorities about it, and most women wouldn't. So before we get into that story, I just want to say quickly, you know, I was taken aback by this blog because as guys, we don't realize the danger there is to women and, and how constant it is. And you had told me that story before, but even then, it, you know, I didn't get a sense of how overwhelming it is until I saw the reaction to her blog. Yeah. And so many people writing in and saying, my God, I've gone through the same thing. It turns out some of them have specifically gone through the same thing with a bike guy who stops doesn't look back, fits the same MO, etc. But that's why it's so important to report it because, you know, banding together, you might actually be able to catch the guy. And also, another important thing to point out is a lot of times when sexual assault or rape happens, a lot of people make the assumption that it happens in like poor neighborhoods, right? But a lot of times it happens in wealthy neighborhoods as well. In fact, they're more likely to strike in those neighborhoods because authorities are less likely to believe that stuff like that happens in a nicer area. And, and by the way, think about the assumptions behind that too as the uh, newspaper articles are writing about this. And so what if it only happens in poorer neighborhoods? Like it's yeah. like oh well, man, it happens in rich neighborhoods too. Now we got to really get concerned here, and in keeping it real, that is why people are more concerned now because they realize oh my God, it happens to rich people too. Then we should be really pissed. Now, a Anna, you told that story on air. Yeah, four years ago I told this story. Some of you might remember, some of you might not, but let's watch. Yeah. I was power walking, uh -huh. and you know I was I had a lot on my mind that day too. I remember, and I was already in kind of like a bad mood, and all of a sudden. I feel this hand just smack my butt as hard as you could ever imagine. And it was like this, this like 15, 16 year old boy on a bike oh. and he smacked my butt and I was wearing short shorts. And I swear to you, I, I can't even explain how it felt. It was the worst feeling in my life. Like I felt so violated, right? I even started tearing up, but he just drove away. He actually came around to do it for a second time. And then uh, I reacted by kicking him off his bike. But a lot of women don't get that redemption. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love that second part of the story yeah. where Anna came to regulate. Okay. Yeah. Now, look, like you said, most people don't get to do that, and it's a dangerous thing in the first place. And to me, the most damaging part of this is the thought that women have to walk around with that it could happen at any time. And that there's no safe place from it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, along the lines of what we were discussing, it could happen in any neighborhood, under any circumstances. She's getting a haircut, walking you know, uh, back to her apartment, it's broad daylight, uh, etc. And so it's interesting to see other people's perspectives because as a guy, we basically never have to worry about that. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting because I think a lot of women are so used to it that they change their behavior subconsciously. So as I was reading this blog, I thought about how, you know, certain things that I've experienced in the past has affected the way I live my life. So a perfect example of that is if I'm walking to the store, I will purposely take a route where I know cars don't drive by too often. Right, so I'll take like the small residential streets as opposed to the main streets because I don't want the cat calls. It makes me feel cheap. It makes me feel kind of lame, right? So I'll avoid that. And you never know, you know, if someone sees you walking alone, it does, do they see you as a target? A lot of times they will, especially if you're young and you look defenseless. And also, always carry a knife with you. Let's keep it real. Wow. I, you, you have to. I feel like as a woman, if you're going to walk around alone, you have to have something on you. Yeah. See, th that's why that's part of the things that we try to do on this show to give you different perspectives, right? Because as a guy, I, I don't have that perspective at all. It wouldn't have occurred to me to not walk by certain places 
in the ways that Anna describes. In fact, of course, now I think once I've gotten a cat call in my life, and of course, for guys, we're ecstatic, right? Like, oh my God, somebody found me attractive. Did you get a cat call from another guy? Or? <laughs> no, it was, well, that might have also happened, but it was just one time with women, right? But you have to understand, like, so some guys will stop there and think, like, well, oh, well, so what's the big problem? Well, that's because I had no th uh, concern that those women were going to jump out and molest me. And et cetera, et cetera. Keep it real, guys. Come on. Whereas a, a woman, of course, is going to be afraid that the cat call is going to be followed by physical, you know, assault. Because what you might not know is it happens all the time. 